Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a, what I like to call a crap has hit the fan uh, pre-bag. Well, this isn't the rucksack that I would carry. That's a whole separate video. This is the equipment I would carry if, let's just say you're in a militia type sit, uh, situation where you need a carry system. This is going to be what's going to be on me personally besides whatever clothes I'm wearing. This is going to be what I'm going to have on me. <clears throat> and that's going to be, first of all, my carry pistol uh, is my SIG P226. Mark 25, which it's going to include my pistol. See, it's got the. Let's see if I can show you that. Yeah. See, it's got the little navy anchor, so it's the Mark 25. And I've got full magazines. I got four full magazines. Three and four. I've got them inside my gun, my gun case here. Like I said, four full magazines and my pistol. That's going to be in there. Also, this is my set carry system. Okay. And what this is, I took the magazines out because I just recently moved, but this is a interceptor vest. This is the interceptor vest. And on the back, I have, it's got a Molly system carry on it. I've got a canteen, canteen holder. Also on the front, I have a pouch, which houses my tourniquet, a cat tourniquet, for a blowout situation. And I'm going to have one on the other side here. Two, three. So I'm going to have a, to a total of six mag pouches. And these are the uh, Ranger Assault Carry Kit type mag pouches. Along with a grenade pouch here, which I have gloves in. In case of someone injured. I also have an IFAC that's in my main bag. And also I have a Navy SEAL 2000 uh, SOG knife. As a backup. And this has the neck armor on it also. And this is a level 3A. And also has a plate in the back and in the front for sappy. Which makes it eff effective against more small arms fire. Also, I have a um, camelback to fill with water, of course, because you have to stay hydrated. Um, patrol cap, you know, just a hat. Uh, this is my pistol system. It is a leg rig. Or a thigh rig, I mean. Sorry. It's got your pistol holster. And it's got room for three additional magazines on the other leg. 
So that's from my small side arm. I also have an advanced combat helmet with the Woodland, uh, I think it's PASGT. It's Kevlar. And also, uh, I said BDUs. Your BDU pants. Uh, flashlight, angle head flashlight with uh, different types of um, lenses. Also, BDU jacket. And this goes to the rack set, which I don't have on. But, it, like I said, it goes to the rack set. And I've got the other end on my vest. But this is a leg bag also. It carries my um, gas mask and gloves. So this has my D3A gloves, goggles, gas mask, um, filter, and my Israeli combat gas mask. So this is my protective equipment and my leg bag. Like I said, um, this usually goes to a rack set, which I do have. I got the Ranger Assault Carry Kit. That's that. Also, I have Gore-Tex pants and Gore-Tex jacket for rain. You know, this is stuff that, you know, it may be snowing, may be raining. You don't know. So, you want to have everything in there ready to go, just in case. I have a Air Force duffel bag type thing that I use to carry all my gear in. Like I said, I do, I do have a IFAC, but the IFAC is inside my main pack, which that's going to be a different video because it's quite extensive. Um, for all this gear, um, it'd be hard to put a price tag. I mean, the gun alone is like close to two grand. Um, knife's about a hundred bucks. The vest you can get for, if you can even get them nowadays, with people going crazy buying stuff. Pretty much everything in here is a military issue item. Said, you know, everything in here serves a purpose. This would be enough if you know there was some sort of an attack or civil unrest where you know it's a dangerous situation. You know, it's all going to be in my bag. You see that? It's a U.S. Air Force bag, actually. It's what they use to carry their gear in. For the flyers, but just so you can see that and see what all I have in my go bag, which is a lot. Um, I also would grab this. Uh, this is my Beofang radio, which I have pre-programmed. Uh, 
I would grab this, my bag, my backpack, and I carry seven three-run mags of 5.56, along with my rifle, which I've done a video on. Uh, has a flashlight, has a red dot, a single strap, and it is ready to go. It's got an adjustable stock. Like I said, you know, if anything was to happen, God, God forbid, you know, that's the stuff I would grab. I grab my case, which, which my backpack's got like three or four days worth of food in it. A way to clean my, wa my water source and, you know, I'll have my camel back to drink my water. Also, I've got setups like this for my wife as well, but she's a little bit smaller than me, so, you know, her setup's tailor-made to her. Um, but, yeah, if, so if something did happen, you do want to be prepared. Um, <clears throat> I also have this in my pack also. It's a carry handle for my AR in case my red dot stops working. I've got iron sights backed up. So... You know, that's a little bit thinking ahead. And, I mean, if you have time to do it, you know, grab some bottles of water and stuff to go with you. Because, I mean, you may have some issues finding a water source at first. So that's something to think about. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's about all I would have on me. Not as far as my pack. Like I said, that's... A different video and my pack actually matches with the rest of my gear um, I, I use what's called the CFP 90 uh, it came out in the late 90s uh, it was originally issued to the Army Rangers at first but the regular military you eventually got a hold of it um, but yeah I've got that to carry and yeah, that's about it. I mean, I've got binoculars as well, which I'd probably grab that in a pinch too. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's important stuff to have because you're going to have something to protect you from the elements, protect you from any biohazards. That's why the gas mask. Uh, you want something that's going to protect you from possibly shell fragments or from bullets so that's why you have the bulletproof armor um, you want something to protect yourself so that's why you got a sidearm and that's why you got your rifle and I mean you may want to go to a disclosed location before you know getting this stuff ready to go you may just wanna you know you don't want to draw attention to yourself in a, si a situation so you know, just take them and load them in the back of your truck, your car, and go with your fam your family somewhere safe. And from there, you know, at least, I mean, if you think you might run into some problems before getting to where you need to go, I mean, you could technically put your vest on, I guess, and at least put your side your sidearm on. If you anticipate running into some prop, some problems between getting from where you live to your hi your hideaway location or wherever that might be, um, but yeah, I would definitely invest in having stuff ready to go. Have it in a, du a duffel bag or sea bag, whatever you want to call it. Or a bag like this, you know, whatever is easier to carry, pretty much. And this is just my, my, my armor, my carry kit, and my pistol. You could, could also put a small rifle in there, actually. 
but I mean, my rifle I'd probably quit separate. I mean, it's a little bit longer. It's a carbine. So, but yeah, um, leave any comments. My wife ain't feeling too well. That's why she's not with me this video. Um, but just thought I'd uh, do a quick, quick video and show you guys my go go gear and give you some ideas on what you could carry um, I'm going to be doing more videos and stuff on different gear you know we'll be going over different stuff you know different carry gear um, so there were some more uh, sleeping bags and such um, so yeah, uh, just let us know what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Um, we're up to almost 160 subscribers, which that's awesome. Uh, hoping to get up to 200 here soon. Hoping to get up to 200 this week, hopefully. Praying, hopefully. Um, continue to subscribe and share. And just want to wish you guys a good night. And... Stay vigilant, stay ready. God bless you guys, and God bless America. Bye.